welcome students let's continue further now what are the functions of different parts of a cell a cell wall provides rigidity that is firmness so you can underline this word and you can mark it this is firmness and gives mechanical support to the cell so these are the two functions of the cell wall it provides rigidity and mechanical support to the cell and then next it it also provides protection to the internal organelles of the cell organelles are the small organs present in each and every cell now this is the diagram see all this complete blue portion is known as cytoplasm and this purple is known as nucleus and you can see these small small structures here these are all the cell organelles as in a big body we have organs in a small cell we have organelles so they have shown here in more details the different organelles and their names this part is known as mitochondria this part is the cell membrane the lining this is endoplasmic reticulum this is nucleus cytoplasm golgi complex and centrioles so they have different at this diagram you learn for drawing and you should mark their labels this uh, uh, as a big body undergoes each and every function same way these small organelles perform different type of functions in this one cell brain controls our body cell controls the working of the sorry nucleus controls the working of this cell entire cell now mitochondria provides energy to the cell and then endoplasmic reticulum it gives the framework like we have skeleton to give us a framework endoplasmic reticulum is known as the skeleton of the cell then we have golgi complex it is in the form of tubes and vesicles they provide certain secretions they secrete and store the secretions now centrioles this is a part which is present only in the animal cell and this is responsible for the division of the cell you know that one cell divides into two and two into four and so on so who starts the division process that is centriole and nucleus in the center is responsible for each and every activity of these cell so cytoplasm is a jelly like semi fluid substance between the cell membrane and the nucleus and it contains up to 90% of water many life processes of the cell take place in the cytoplasm and the number of cell organelles remain suspended in the cytoplasm so this is what is cytoplasm you can underline it is jelly like semi fluid substance between the cell membrane and the nucleus so 90% of it is water all the activities which i told is taking place that is we call it as life processes okay it takes place in the cytoplasm and there are number of cell organelles which are suspended so suspended means they are in the cytoplasm see so this is what is cytoplasm and then nucleus as we have brain to control our body in the cell there is nucleus so it is a small spherical oval structure who discovered the cell rob who discovered it that was robert brown and it consists of two four parts see now it also has a membrane so we call it as nuclear membrane it also has protoplasm now inside the nucleus it is known as nucleoplasm and then is nucleolus and you can see the thread like structure which is known as chromatin fiber and you can see in the membrane there are certain pores now nuclear membrane surrounds the nucleus it is formed of two nuclear membrane and has many pores called nuclear pores so you can see this is double layer and there are pores so substances can move in and out of the nucleus through these pores and nucleoplasm is a thick it is a thick fluid like substance in the nucleus what is nucleolus a rounded body in the nucleoplasm and what does it contains rna that is it contains ribonucleic acid this is the full form of rna 
and what is the function of this RNA? It helps in the formation of ribosome. Ribosome is also present in the cell, which we will study further. Now, something more. The chromatin fiber are composed of chromatin fiber is this, the zigzag zigzag lines which you see. Can you see this? Zigzag zigzag lines. So these are all chromatin fibers and they are made up of DNA. That is deoxyribonucleic acid. You need to learn these terms RNA and DNA and it is also made up of proteins. So DNA is a hereditary material. So during cell division, they condense to form thick and darkly stained body known as chromosome. So chromatin fiber, when the division is going to start of the cell, will condense and they will form darkly stained bodies known as chromosome. Simple. When division is going to start, these thread-like structure will condense, become small and short and that body will be known as chromosome. Now, number of chromosomes vary in different organisms. In human body, in our body, every cell has 46 <coughs> chromosomes or 23 pairs. So, you can't write 23. You will write 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes. Now, chromosomes, very important point, that chromosomes are seen only during cell division. In a normal cell which is not dividing, it is in the form of chromatin fiber. Then the number of chromosome is different in different species. Okay, so this is still here and we are going to shift on the next page. Now chromatin material occurs in the form of thread-like nucleoprotein fibers. Now what are these fibers thread-like made up of? They are nucleoprotein in nature. Okay, so they are known as chromatin fiber. And where are they present? They are present in the nucleoplasm in the non-dividing nucleus. Because in the dividing nucleus, this chromatin fiber will be known as chromosomes. You will not see chromatin fiber there then. Okay. Normally, a cell has one nucleus. We call it as... And then striated muscle cells contain more than one nucleus. So, we call it as multinucleate. This is uninucleate if there is one nucleus. If there are many nucleus, we have multinucleate word. An example to have multinucleate, striated muscle cells. There are different type of muscle cells. So, just learn the example right now. Striated muscle cells. Then function of nucleus controls all the activities of the cell. That is why it is known as the control center. And it also transmit, you know, just like brain, give the uh, messages from one part to another. Here, it also gives the messages for the functionality, but also transmits information of all the hereditary characters from the parent to children. That is why children resemble their parents. All the information which is stored in the nucleus, when it grows and divides into two, it is carried forward to the other baby uh, nucleus or the cells, baby cells. So, when one organism produces uh, its uh, like uh, children, so it will resemble the parents because the information is passed from the parent to the children. Now, we spoke about cell organelle. A number of living structures called cell organelle, they are found in the cytoplasm. Mitochondria, endoplasmic, all these are the different type of cell organelles present in the cell. Now, we will talk here about first plastids. They are found only in the plant cell and you have two types here, three types rather we can say, chromoplast, chromoplast and leukoplast. Chromoplast means different colors. What you get is in the flowers and in the fruits. We have chromoplast because it gives different colors to these flowers and fruit. Chloroplast is always green plastic. See, this is a plant cell. It has, these are, these are the plastids. Can you see green? So these are chloroplast and it has pigment which is known as chlorophyll. That is why there are so many parts of the plant which are green in color. Basically, you will find all the leaves as green. So they are also known.